Before we begin with the renewal of the retainer ring, the actros must firstly be made secure. Simply block one wheel with two wedges in both directions. Then release the handbrake. This is important for the next step. We continue underneath the vehicle. Lift the specific axle a couple of centimeters with a jack. Then to the differential lock. If it is completely released, both wheels move in different directions. Remove the plug and the pressure switch. With the appropriate screw, you can now mechanically lock the differential lock. The screw should be at least 60 millimeters long. If both wheels then move in the same direction, everything is fine. Now we can remove both wheels from the specific axle. We do not need to explain to you how this is done. When the wheels are off, you can bleed the oil from the bell hub. The best way is to bounce the oil fill and oil bleed screw. Then the screws can be unscrewed easier, which is what we then do. Please note, do not forget to place an oil pan under the bell hub, then simply turn the axle until the oil bleed screw is pointing downwards. The oil can now flow into the pan when you have removed both screws. Finally, replace the screws. They should be sufficiently tightened with a wrench. You can then dismantle the hub and the rear axle shaft. Firstly, these three screws should be removed. The hub can then be pushed out. Simply screw three other screws deep enough into the thread. So long until the hub is completely loosened. Then carefully remove it and stand it up vertically. The three screws have done their service. Then simply unscrew them and put them aside. The oil retainer ring is then revealed. Remove it with an appropriate tool. Please also remove all dirt and oil residue. The new oil retainer ring and the right grease should of course have been ordered beforehand. The part numbers are shown below. Firstly, grease the part where the oil retainer ring is fitted. This is the only way to ensure that in future there is no leakage. Then place the oil retainer ring and thoroughly grease. Now the bell hub can be replaced. This requires some power. Then shake a little, it fits. The three fixing screws also have to be returned to their place. This time you also require a torque wrench. Please tighten all three screws with 80 Newton meters. Then you have to again turn the hub, this time so that the oil bleed screw is facing upwards. Then take the screws out.
Place the oil filler container at the oil filler opening at the center of the bell hub. Now you can fill the oil. Please note, please only use high poured oil with a viscosity of 90. Please obtain more information on the right amount from the VIS documents. Before you close the bell hub with the screws, both oil retainer rings should be exchanged. Here you have to be quick. Please ensure that when removing the oil filler container, not too much oil is lost. Now we again need the torque wrench. Both screws are tightened with 120 newton meters. Work on the bell hub is now almost complete. The wheels are fitted and then finished. Now underneath the vehicle again. The differential lock has to be released again. Firstly exchange the oil retainer ring on the pressure lever before you install it. Then take the screw out. A short check. The wheels rotate again correctly. You can install the pressure lever. Carefully tighten it. Please note, do not forget to replace the plug. Now you can lower the jack. You no longer need it. Finally, we only have to check the oil amount in the axle. Take out the oil filler screw. Normally, oil should flow out of the opening. As you can see, this is not the case. Therefore, you should add oil. Just enough until it begins to flow out. Then replace the oil filler screw and tighten with 120 newton meters. Then check the oil level in the drive through axle housing. Loosen beforehand the oil filler screw. In this case everything is fine. As you can see oil is flowing out. Replace the screw and tighten with 120 newton meters. Finally, you should carry out a short test drive. Only then can you test whether the exchanged O-ring is tight. One last look, finished.